Should we arrest David Copperfield? Yes, we should, but not for this. Now, this is uh, Raybert Fellows, superintendent of Road Farm 6, Mississippi Department of Corrections. One of his guards found him in his office, not a drop of blood in the place. Well, maybe he was killed elsewhere. No, I don't think so. Whoever did it took 40 minutes to do it in the middle of a tornado. What do you make of that? I don't know. It's, uh, it's not a simple bisection. There's a considerable amount of his abdomen missing. I mean, it almost looks like a burning, but it's too localized. Maybe an industrial acid. There's uh, no acid found in his office. Huh. Spontaneous human combustion. Scully. Well, isn't that where you're going with this? Dear diary, today my heart leapt when Agent Scully suggested spontaneous human combustion. Mulder, well, there are one or two somewhat well-documented cases. Mulder, shut up. Okay, what do you make of this? I don't have a theory. But I know of someone who does. Hell yes, Pinky Rawls, who did it? Though you got me as to how. And who is Pinky Rawls? An inmate. Mean son of a bitch. Rawls was the prisoner who supposedly died in the tornado that preceded Superintendent Fellow's murder. So you're saying that a ghost did this? I'm not putting a word to it. That's up to y'all. All I know is that Rawls hated the captain. Captain locked him in the box when the storm hit, and Rawls didn't want to be locked in the box. And when we found the box, biggest piece was about yay big, three miles from here. Now, this whole place was locked and boarded up tight. No man got in here. That's all I'm saying. So we're looking for a dead man?